Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fortnite Chapter 3 video. Today I'm doing another ranking video. I love doing these so much because, number one, you guys can see how I rank all the weapons and items in the season, and two, they're just fun, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do it. Today we're going to be ranking every single new weapon and item in Fortnite Chapter 3. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like down below, click subscribe if you're new, and please pop in code ParkerDV in the item shop if you're picking anything up. Let's hop straight into it. First up, we've got the auto shotgun. Okay, this is an interesting one to start with. I'm going to go ahead and rank it first and then talk about it a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put this under... Ooh, this is close. Either meh or trash. I'm going to put it under meh. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny to say. I'm going to put it there just because, you know, the season's been out for a couple days. I haven't had the opportunity to use it for a long time. But this gun is just so bad. The damage values are so incredibly low. It's just, I feel like I can't even use this gun. It is an auto shotgun, so the fire rate's a little faster. But, like, the tax shotgun is just so good. I wish they had that in the game. So I'm going to keep that one in the meh category for now. Moving on to the next one is the guzzle juice. So this is not a weapon. This is a healable item. And basically, if you guys don't know how it works, it's kind of like a slurp juice, if you guys remember what that does. Except... If you get shot while using this, it'll cancel and not heal you anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put this under... I'm going to say it's good. You know, I love healables that heal over time. It's pretty cool. I don't like the fact that, you know, if you get shot while you're using it, it cancels. I think that kind of sucks. And you're very obvious when you're using it. You're pretty much glowing bright green with bubbles coming off of you. But it is still a really good item, so we're going to put it under the good category. Moving on, we've got the Hunter Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this thing under... Ooh, this is tough. Either alright or good. Oh boy, I wish I could like stick it right here. But I mean, I do have a decent amount of categories. So we're going to put it under alright and hear me out. So the headshot is not 200, okay? That is the reason why. I feel like all snipers in the game, the headshot should be at least 200. It, you know, if you hit a headshot, they're tough to hit, you deserve the kill. So that's the only reason why I'm putting it under all right. If it was 200 headshot, it would definitely be under the good category. So we're gonna put it there. It is a fun rifle to use. It's got three shots in the clip and the fire rate is actually pretty fast for a sniper. So it is definitely a pretty all right weapon. Next up, we've got the Med Mist. Okay, this one I'm going to go ahead and put under good. It's kind of funny. Both the healables are higher than all the other weapons. Okay, so <laughs> this thing I love so much. It's almost better than a med kit in my opinion. It's got 150 uses. Actually, no. It's got 150, like, I guess health you should say. And it does it in increments of 5. So basically, you can apply this thing. You have 150 health holding in your hand and you can go up to 100 you don't it doesn't stop at 75 like bandages do and it's a super fast healer so i love this item been using it all the time so it's super cool moving on we've got the mk7 rifle you already know it's op as heck so this gun is not the first rifle we've had that goes into first person mode technically the scoped ar we had a while back was first person but i I, I counted that more as like a sniper in a way. I don't know, but this gun is so cool. It's got the red dot sight, which is the first Fortnite has ever done, and I love it. The freaking fire rate of this gun is nuts. It is incredible. Also, the range is pretty dang good. There is a lot of vertical recoil. However, there is zero bloom, which is just, oh my god. And the headshot damage, it's not super high, but the fire rate, oh my god, it's just, it nails people. I love this gun so much. It is super OP. Hopefully they don't nerf it because I love it. Next up, we've got the Ranger Assault Rifle. Okay, I'm going to put this one under the good category. So it's just under the MK7, and here's my reasoning. So this AR actually does higher damage than the MK7. Fire rate is a little bit slower, and it doesn't have the scope. So this one is more of a classic Fortnite AR, I would say. I do like it a lot, but if I were to choose between the MK7 and the Ranger Assault Rifle, I would choose the MK7 any day just because of how freaking awesome it is and the red dot, oh, cannot get over it. Now we've got the Sidearm Pistol. This is basically the pistol that's been in the game since day one, pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and put it under all right. 
maybe even meh, but the headshot damage on this thing is like, I think 50. Like that's so high. If you hit four headshots, someone full shield, they're done. Um, I just never really use pistols that much because you've got a full auto AR, right? You're going to use that instead. So I feel like I do need to use pistols more, but that's where I'm going to leave it for now. It's not terrible. It's definitely one of those guns that if, you know, if you pick it up right off the spawn, you have a good chance of surviving. All right, the Stinger SMG OP. I find it really funny how both the red guns are OP. That's just the background, okay? But I find that really funny. So the Stinger SMG, you guys can see in the gameplay, just obliterates people. Those two guns, the MK7 and the Stinger SMG are just incredible. They're so much fun. I honestly don't even use the shotguns in the game very much. They're just, they're not that good. We'll get to the next one in just a second, but the Stinger SMG, I highly, highly recommend using over a shotgun just because of the fire rate. It's actually faster than the rapid fire SMG that was in the game a while back. And yeah, this thing is just so much fun. It's very satisfying. There is a higher reload time, however, but you know what? The fire rate and damage compensates for it. Next up, we've got the Striker Pump Shotgun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing under meh i might actually move the auto shotgun to trash i'm i'm going to do that here's why so the pump has obviously a higher damage value it's still i believe like 158 ish to the head point blank which is just it's not that good i remember when tax used to do that so both the shotguns in the game currently definitely need to be buffed they're just so weak like I said, I don't even use them. I just use the Stinger SMG instead. Sometimes I'll be rocking two of them because why the heck not? And I just really wish they would improve the shotguns, but that is why I can't really talk much about them because they're just, they're not, they're not that good. Finally, we've got the tents. Okay, yes, I had to put this on here. It's a brand new item. We're going to go ahead and put it under good. You know why? Because it's good. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It is good, but here's why. So you can throw this thing on the ground, you can actually climb into it and it'll heal you, which is really cool, kind of like a portable campfire in a way. You can also heal your teammates, like you can all have a, a camp set up, and you can also, if you're in a squad and only you have a tent, you can actually have your teammates buy a tent from your tent. It's kind of weird. And also you can store up to three items in the tent, which is really cool. So you can basically put I don't know, a shotgun, but who would want to do that? They're, they're trash. You could put meds in there, you could put nades in there, pick it up, and you basically have two extra slots, which is super cool. So I haven't used it much yet. I still got to get used to it, but it is really cool, and I like it a lot. So that is my final tier list right there for you guys. Hopefully you agree with it. If not, that is okay. This is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys would change, if anything, in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, pop in code ParkerDV, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.